the roads along here are just so sketchy like it's bumpy as driving along and we literally just jumped into a ditch we are stuck on these horrible bumpy rocky roads for the next hour and 15 minutes come on you baby go <laughs> so this is starting to get a bit scary now because the track is starting to turn into a thick bush. Please don't be a dead end. Please do not be a dead end. Oh! No! No, no, no! Where the hell's the track? And we're just constantly climbing up this rocky mountain. Oh my god, those roads were not meant for tuk-tuks. It's all downhill from here, baby. We really need this descent because we're running low on fuel again. Okay, so after several hours of full on off road <laughs> tracks, we have come to our next quest. So it's just a an old railway track we gotta find. And well, we just parked the tuk-tuk over there because this is, we don't wanna keep driving through this stuff. It's only walking distance. And to make matters worse for today, I just found out I lost my thongs. I think my thongs fell out of the friggin' tuk-tuk. So a couple, couple months ago, Indonesia claimed my thongs in a river. And now Sri Lanka has claimed my second pair of thongs somewhere out in the mountains. <laughs> Looks like I'm going barefoot for a bit. I will split off. You go that way, I'll go this way. <laughs> yeah, so, this turns out to be not as easy as we thought to find this railway track. Like every other single thing today has not been easy. Martin's found it, Martin's found it. We've got it. Shall we do a bit of act of kindness today, mate? Help, help pick some, some fellas pick, pick some carrots. Ah, oh, legend. Thank you. Thank you very much. You. Water. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Cheers for the carrot, mate. Thank you. <laughs> bye. Bye. Well, that's our second act of kindness done for today. Help some carrot pickers pick some carrots, and they even gave us some free ones. What legends! Yeah. And right now too, there is another quest to go to a strawberry farm. So. Let's see, if, let's see if we can go get some strawberries along with our carrots. Visit the strawberry farm, tick that off the list. So I don't think we're far from the highway now. And then we just go straight up from there to where we gotta meet. Let's go! Right, hey, no matter where we go, we're always bumping into other team members. So because we're all gonna meet up at the one place, everyone's slowly starting to come onto the same route, the same track. So I've, I've seen heaps of other team members around the town as well, so we're all really close together. Um, we're just heading up towards, um, I think it's just the tip of this mountain. We've got to get a photo of the viewpoint and then keep on continuing. Let's go. And here is the viewpoint. We are getting marvellous views everywhere we go today. <laughs> oh, 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 damn! Oh, oh. <laughs> PG rated. 
But it looks like we have other teams here as well. And I feel like the Flamenguins may be here. Not quite sure. I reckon they are. <laughs> right, so this challenge will be quite an uh, enjoyable one for Martin. Mm -hmm. Have a smoke and a beer. My two favourite things. In this hotel. Yeah. I don't drink beer, nor do I smoke, so... I'm the looks, like, looks like he'll have to take one for the team for this. <laughs> wow. This place looks way too fancy to be walking barefoot in. <laughs> well, look at this. La di da. <laughs> it's a fancy place, mate. <laughs> Alright, enjoy your challenge, mate. This is a hard one. So hard. Someone had to do it, though, I guess. <laughs> this is just chilling. Still can't believe we can just smoke in the room. <laughs> Why couldn't there be more like this? <laughs> Where's the rum challenge? Well, seems like the smallest beer Martin can order was one of the giant ones. <laughs> so it looks like I'll be a designated driver for the rest of the day. Um, and we've just been informed too, if we arrive to the mid party destination before 6 p.m., our team will be given 10 gems. So there's, there's still a lot of sort of quests to do along the way. So we're gonna try to squeeze in all those quests and get to that mid party before 10 p.m. We can do it, we can do it. Okay, so we've just arrived to our next quest, which is a tea plantation. So I just sent Martin to run inside and we have to get a video of the process of making the tea. Um, and then after this spot, we're gonna just keep heading up and just race, 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 race. But oh my God, this is easily, I, I'm gonna have to say this is hands down the best drive I've ever done throughout all of Asia. Like I am absolutely loving Sri Lanka because it's sort of, it's mixed between Indonesia and Malaysia because Malaysia around this area there is just tea plantations everywhere like the whole mountainside is just tea plantations and and like all the other areas are around is sort of a bit like Indonesia because there's so many waterfalls so many beautiful waterfalls and along the coast there's beautiful beaches oh it's just Sri Lanka has surprised me. Sri Lanka has surprised me so much and the people we have met throughout every day have been the nicest people and I am just loving it. I'm loving every single bit of this Tuk Tuk tournament and oh, and we got five days of it left. So oh, I've got nothing else to say. Well, let's just, let's just get this done. Let's get it done and hopefully we can get back by 6 p.m. Let's go. Right, you got it, you've got it mate, you've got it. Get those jabs. All right, so we took a bit of a gamble here. Um, we went off track a little bit because there's one around this area. I think we've got to get to the tip of that peak there for nine gems. We're just going to have enough time. Um, so I'm dealing with this right now. I'm a little bit bogged, but it was quicker just to run up. Hopefully, so Martin's just running up to the tip now. Hopefully it's going to lead him to there to get a photo and then run back. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, I'm going to sort out this Bog tuk tuk. Well, that was a bit more difficult than I expected. <laughs> I was just completely shredding up this mud. I, I just had to go back forward, back forward, back forward, back forward. I literally from there all the way to there. It took, took like eight minutes just to get it out, but it's out. Man, this this tuk-tuk is copping and beating today, but it is going hard and it is going strong. Now let's hope, please let's hope Martin is having good luck getting to the top of there to get those gems. Oh, times are ticking, times are ticking, people. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Martin's back. Did you get it? Did you get up there? No. no? Oh no! Nah, shit, no luck. <laughs> we've taken too many gambles today, and every single gamble we've done, we've seemed to have failed it. Hopefully, we have enough time to get the rest of those gems. Let's go. Alright, so we're in a hunt to find a temple now, but we're really running low on time, and I have to run up here to get to it. It's like a temple on the water. Ah, it's very slippery. I'm running barefoot, but I reckon we could still make everything in a time. We're just gonna keep going and keep believing we can do it. I think I got it. Seriously, I knew this took the thought it was gonna be wild and crazy, but I did not realize it would be this wild and crazy and this competitive. Well, you know, this tournament's getting really intense when your leg is pissing out blood and you have no, and even my toes bleeding. And I have no idea how it happened. I don't know if it was a giant leech. Oh my, it's like, I think I put a little whole gash in my leg. What did I do? All right, I solved the mystery of the bleeding foot. It is a leech, because I found another leech. Right here, get off me. Oh, yuck. They're huge. And like, you got bleeding there, and I'm bleeding there. There's leeches just sucking all over my feet. Lovely. All right, so we currently have four other teams with us right now, and we're all trying to do the exact same thing. So we have to convince the security guard to cross this dam. Um, and for this one, we get 12 gems, but we're all in the same boat here. All right, and for our very last quest for today, before we have to head back to our accommodation, let's get a photo of our feet dangling off this suspension bridge. We made it in time and everyone else is rocking up now too. And we got the accommodation right behind us. But come check out where we're sat. Like, come, this place has got a pool, it's got a massive bar, we've got everything here. This place looks sick. So tonight is the big party, mid-party celebration night. And tomorrow we're having a rest day because we all need a, we, especially us, like we, we need a big rest. We have just been going flat out. We've, We've been on the road 12 hours today, 12 hours, but we have done everything we wanted to do. Well, majority of the things we wanted to do. But yeah, come, come check out this. Hey, how's this one surviving? Is he going good? He's all right. <laughs> well, you're tired of up, are you? Now it just looks like he's rubbing his nipple. <laughs> no, 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 no. So over here we got all the beautiful tuk-tuk idols and then there's our little beaten up beast. This, this right here, this is like what our actual tuk-tuk has been through these past few days. How good is this dinner set up? Jesus Christ. This looks way too fancy for some dirty amateur tuk-tuk drivers. So what's on the dinner menu tonight? Rice, roti, chicken. Oh, 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 this looks delicious. Oh, look at all this. Oh, look at all this. What a gorgeous buffet we are feasting on tonight. So we got our accommodation for tonight. It's it's a little bit dark here at the moment, but I'll show you around. This place is huge. So got a double bed there, double bed here. Me and Martin are sharing this one. Big spoon, little spoon. Got a bed here. But wait, what are you, you got a lit candle? <laughs> yeah, you guys, you guys are definitely gonna set your bed on fire. We got two beds over here. We got a towel. Oh, towel wrap. I would have known if I didn't light the candle. <laughs> 
And then... The bathroom! The bathroom! With a hot shower! Wow! Hot shower! That's luxury right there! Oh my god, what a day it has been. It has, this has, has to be one of the most adventurous days we've had and one of the worst days. But on the other hand, it turned out to be pretty good towards the end of the day. But we had, we just started off with rock bottom. We hit rock bottom from the very beginning. Like it took three hours to climb up those mountains. We were just trashing and thrashing the tuk-tuk. The tuk-tuk's good. Tuk-tuk handle everything really, really well. Um, and yeah, then we just got lost and like we we're almost gonna give up, but, but we, just, we just kept leaving, kept going. And then we managed to hit the main road and finally just cruise along and complete all the other quests. But we still have hope, guys. I don't know what the leaderboard is at the moment, but they're currently having troubles with like, I don't know, they're currently having troubles with our points, with our gems, because our points just keep going down every now and then. Um, but I'm pretty sure we still might be number one, hopefully. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna call it a night there because I really want to enjoy the rest of my night and tomorrow is gonna be a rest day which I'm really really looking forward to but I'm sure there'll be plenty more freaking crazy adventures ahead so remember subscribe to my channel don't miss out on those adventures follow your dreams skate your comfort zone and see you on another Tuk Tuk adventure see you then bye